What's up everyone? Another carnage day on Wall Street. For those who don't know me, my name is Stan. I'm a portfolio manager at a Swiss-based hedge fund and I run a nonprofit called apexbull.com to teach retail traders how Wall Street professionals actually trade and uh, hopefully help you make money. Let's take a look at what's, what's going on uh, in the markets. Obviously today we had a follow-through from Friday. We had a sell-off uh, and uh, it looks like the hot print on last Friday is going to be pushing Federal Reserve to be even more hawkish and uh, already there is a talk and pricing in of the uh, 75 basis point uh, hike instead of 50 basis points which uh, might happen uh, this Wednesday Basically, they're going to be raising rates and they're going to give their uh, Federal Reserve uh, Chairman Powell will be giving a press conference and uh, giving his outlook, his reasoning for everything and the forward guidance, most importantly. So uh, with the fact that the CPI has not peaked, that means that uh, they will have to reassess and reevaluate their strategy and might get uh, where they might get more hawkish. Now, what does it all mean for you? So first of all, for those who don't trade, uh, I'm going to just give you a quick advice. When uh, this type of stuff is happening on Wall Street, uh, in the markets, etc., uh, if you want to invest into something, only invest into companies that are blue chip companies and uh, that produce some shit that uh, you cannot live without during the inflationary time. So um, do not buy frivolous stuff nobody needs. People, when obviously shit hits the fan, only need... Uh, stuff that is absolutely necessary. So go from that into your uh, investing uh, opportunities. All because right now, recession search on Google has been rising and even the strippers in the strip clubs are complaining that they're empty. So uh, as far as frivolous spending goes, that's uh, probably one big hell of an indicator that we are uh, potentially are in the uh, recession. Another big issue this week was obviously crypto um, with the Luna a few weeks ago, now with Celsius network having trouble. And uh, SEC I think is starting an investigation into Celsius and actually Michael Saylor's uh, MicroStrategy fund. So that's gonna be interesting. So all of that is adding volatility to the market. Another event also this week is going to be a triple witching. No, it's not some kind of a Disney World movie about uh, uh, witches. Uh, it's actually a term, a financial term, where every quarter you have expirations in options and futures. And that means a lot of hedges will get un unwound. And uh, when that happens, people have to close their positions and or reopen new ones. So there's going to be a lot of... Uh, added volatility yet again uh, in the market. So with the Fed on Wednesday and then triple witching on Friday, we are in for a very, very volatile week this week for sure. All right, for those who, do, who are traders, let's uh, take a look and dive in into some charts. All right, so let's take a look at what happened and what we're expecting to happen in the next few days, how we can trade uh, prior to FOMC and afterwards. So let's take a look at NASDAQ first and then S&P 500, but maybe we'll take a look at gold and maybe the crypto afterwards. So uh, as you can see, we started selling off in, in anticipation of um, uh, a Friday's SCPI print. As you can see here, we sold off prior, then the Friday sell off, and today we had a follow through and we took out major, major support which means that uh, I think there's more main, uh, more pain to come. So we can either mark it like this, maybe even mark it like an area. Um, where are my tools? So, so I, I fully expect basically for, uh, for price action to retest these, uh, at least these lows here. Let's hop on on the four hour chart. As you can see here, I think we can uh, definitely, this was quite a steep sell off, nonstop, doesn't mean it's over, but I think maybe something like a, uh, like a corrective uh, price pattern here, we can definitely 
expect that to happen. As this is getting a little too steep, too vertical, too fast, too furious. Um, as you can see in the in the previous sell-offs, usually there's a sell-off and a, uh, a pullback, sell-off and a small reversal. Now, in regards to the triple witching that I mentioned, this is the uh, this is what happened in the anticipation of the end of quarter last time. This um, price jump from here to here. So. There was no reason for this to happen. No fundamental news. The uh, the economy was still shit, and uh, it looked as gloomy as it does today. And yet we had this. Uh, how long it was it? Two week rally, pretty much into the end of the quarter. Now uh, the triple witching is this Friday, and uh, we. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, we're not rallying, but uh, we are. Everybody's watching and expecting. Um, Everybody is expecting to see what Federal Reserve Chairman Powell will be doing on Wednesday and what his forward guidance will be. And uh, based on that, will uh, if obviously he is, he will be forced to be more hawkish. There is more main, uh, more pain to come because what this price is, uh, price uh, is show, is showing us is that uh, it's pricing in more hawkish Fed to come. S and P five hundred also. We had that bear market rally into the previous uh, support turn resistance. We probed it, probed it, probed it, and then uh, waterfall uh, out of uh, that formation into channel bottom. So if this is a huge channel, and uh, we're we probably are bottoming, maybe prior to the news on uh, tomorrow, we might have some kind of relief rally. Uh, because this is very, very steep, obviously. Let me clean this up, all of this unnecessary stuff. There we go. So I think maybe we'll, uh, we can, we can definitely have at least some kind of uh, pullback. Obviously, you have to be careful trading it. Um, Put, have uh, tight stop losses below the lows. Don't let this thing run because if uh, we have some kind of uh, major, major crash uh, and we have a 10% down, 10% day, 5%, 10%, you don't want to be holding this uh, bag of shit. So this is quite steep. If, if, you, if we see all the previous sell-offs, again, uh, even this one, it had a little bit of rallies, right? This is just one straight line down. Uh, so this is an unsustainable trend. Again, um, it's uh, it, nothing is impossible in the market, but this is the probability of it bouncing is increasing, obviously, because it's getting over oversold, and the way this pa this price developed is in a super aggressive manner. And when aggressive price action uh, takes place like this, usually there is a violent reversal pullback before more downside to come. So uh, to take a look at, uh, to give us a clue what the hell is going on, you always have to look at the 10-year uh, bond yield. So the yield, as you can see, put in, um, or which is a reversal of, the, of a 10-year uh, bond. So it's just easier to look at the yield. As you can see that the yields are rising uh, on a 10 year, and they've been rising for since forever. We just took out the previous uh, swing uh, high right here. And uh, we're putting in some kind of maybe temporary reversal with this uh, exhaustion candle here as well. So if the yields start rolling over, that means the dollar, the US dollar will be uh, peaking as well. And uh, it will help pairs like Euro dollar, uh, pound Aussie, whatever, Kiwi, US CAD, uh, um, uh, all of those pairs will risk pairs might have a relief rally as well. Now we might just consolidate above the breakout point. And uh, oh, by the way, how nicely did this play out, right? Boom, right to the uh, to the uh, to the T, and uh, yeah, that was nice. All right, we can remove all this now. Not this. 
Ja, das ist ja. Boom, boom. So, obviously, we took out this previous swing. And now let's see what happens because uh, the way the way you get to the resistance or support is it, it matters. It matters a lot. So, for example, let me show you something here. So, when you have a straight uh, straight shoot uh, price type of action, like we've had into the resistance, and then we blast through it. And once you start seeing these uh, indecision candles and maybe some kind of a little turnaround, I, there is a good chance that we might just consolidate to take a pause in this rally before more upside. Or we can, uh, if there are not enough buyers left, new buyers, then we're going to have the price, the market makers, professional traders will push the price down to uh, gather new buying power and then go back up. So buying dips in the dollar is still advisable. Gold has been uh, absolute madness, roll coaster price action. So last uh, on Friday, it first sold off, then a violent turnaround into this megaphone formation top right here today, put in this uh, inverted hammer and then a, a waterfall uh, uh, sell off. And now we basically retested the breakdown point right here so if we uh if we have a close bill if this four hour candle closes on the lows again that means uh we're going uh, we're going to retest these lows and then even further so sub 1800 for sure um and uh obviously if it closes above maybe we'll have a little bit of a pullback but for now you can see that it's making uh higher highs and the lower lows so it needs to find it it's trying to find a direction uh, because on one hand uh, because of the high inflation gold is an inflation hedge so it's uh, it's getting priced in but because us dollar and the pricing in of uh, federal reserve being ultra hawkish even more so uh, then that means that gold is not necessary as hedge so these two camps are duking it out right now and to be quite honest, um, I would probably stay away from gold at this point. So what what can we do with the uh, with the stock indices? Obviously, you can see it's a very strong momentum down. Picking the bottom is uh, not advisable, uh, and obviously it can have a 500 point rally easily uh, on Nasdaq or uh, US Dow Jones because there is definitely room for a little bit of a pullback but it's probably better and best not to be buying dips but uh, selling rips meaning you have to wait for uh, some kind of meaningful pullback into the moving average cloud and then once you start seeing turning around you have to be patient enough not to jump into the uh, uh, trades right so you have to wait for a good opportunity and we just took out a major major uh, support level so uh, with the one swift move down started that started last week. Now let's uh, let's now be patient. Wait for some kind of a pullback, and maybe once we see we see it uh, turning back around, we'll uh, we'll um, we'll sell it again. With Federal Reserve uh, being um, they they most likely just do fifty basis point uh, uh, raise this uh, month. But for next month, if the situation doesn't improve, definitely 75%. And uh, that means that markets will be selling off uh, into the summer. And if markets are selling off into the summer, there's no point in buying this until we start seeing some evidence of it bottoming. Uh, so let's see. So at, at this point, it's only advisable to see uh, once we have some kind of pullbacks and rollovers, you will you sell the rollover yet again into the direction of the main trend and the main trend is down all right hope it helps as always uh leave a comment uh like subscribe it helps our um, it, it helps us grow reach new people as algos uh, on youtube and other websites pick it up 
and, and distribute it to other people who might find this information useful. All righty. Um, also, you're more than welcome to stop by free Telegram group. Uh, link is in the description page. You can discuss all of this there live. All right. Hope it helps. Enjoy.